Imagine going a week without your morning cup of coffee. Sounds like a nightmare, right? But have you ever wondered what happens to your body when you go seven days without caffeine? This isn't just about missing your daily jolt of energy. We're talking about the physiological changes that occur when you break from this widely consumed, mildly addictive stimulant. Before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. We'll look at the withdrawal symptoms, the benefits, and how your body adjusts during this caffeine-free week. So brace yourself and let's dive into the caffeine-free zone to see what awaits us. Before we delve into the no caffeine week, it's essential to understand what caffeine does to our bodies. Caffeine, the world's most widely consumed stimulant, does a lot more than just wake us up. It works its magic by stimulating our central nervous system, making us feel alert and warding off drowsiness. Caffeine blocks the receptors for adenosine, a neurotransmitter that signals your brain it's time to wind down and sleep. By blocking these signals, caffeine keeps us feeling awake and alert. But it's not all roses and sunshine. Caffeine can lead to physical dependence, meaning your body craves it and without it, you may experience withdrawal symptoms. These symptoms can kick in as soon as 12 to 24 hours after your last caffeine fix, peaking around 20 to 51 hours. The severity of these symptoms depends on your previous caffeine intake and how drastically you decrease it. You might experience headaches, nausea, fatigue, difficulty concentrating, mood changes, and even hand tremors. But don't be too alarmed. These symptoms usually last for about two to nine days, and there are ways to minimize them, like gradually reducing caffeine intake, staying hydrated, and practicing stress management techniques. With that understanding, it's time to explore what happens when you decide to break up with caffeine. In the first two days without caffeine, withdrawal symptoms start kicking in. Now, you might be wondering what these symptoms are and when they start to show up. Well, typically, within the first 24 hours of stopping caffeine, your body starts to react. It's like a wake-up call, telling you that something's different. You may start to experience headaches, a common sign of caffeine withdrawal. And it's not just about the physical discomfort. You might find yourself feeling fatigued, even after a good night's sleep. Your usual morning perkiness is replaced by a sluggish feeling that seems to slow you down. You might also notice some difficulty concentrating. Tasks that you used to breeze through might seem a little more challenging. But don't be alarmed. These symptoms are your body's natural response to a sudden change. It's a bit like your body is throwing a small temper tantrum because it's not getting its usual caffeine fix. Remember, it's just your body starting to adjust to the lack of caffeine. So, don't let these early days deter you. Stay strong and remember why you decided to embark on this journey in the first place. But don't worry, it's just your body starting to adjust to the lack of caffeine. Days 3 and 4 are when the withdrawal symptoms typically peak. This is the part of the journey where the body really starts to feel the absence of caffeine. It's like a roller coaster reaching its highest point before the big drop. Now, you might experience an increase in symptoms such as nausea, mood changes, and even hand tremors. But don't be alarmed, your body is simply adjusting to the sudden change. It's a challenging period, yes, but there are ways to manage these symptoms. First, hydration is key. Staying well hydrated can alleviate some of the discomfort. Second, exercise can help too. It might be the last thing you feel like doing, but physical activity can boost your mood and energy levels. Lastly, try to practice stress management techniques. Whether it's deep breathing, meditation, or taking a leisurely walk, these can help you navigate through this peak withdrawal phase with more ease. Remember, this is just a temporary phase. Your body is resilient, and it's doing its best to adapt to a new normal without caffeine. Now with the peak behind us, let's see how the body starts to recover. As you step into the fifth day without caffeine, you'll start noticing some positive changes. The storm of withdrawal symptoms has likely passed, leaving behind a newfound clarity. Your body and mind are slowly adjusting to a caffeine-free lifestyle, and the benefits are beginning to shine through. In the absence of caffeine, your body's natural rhythm starts to re-establish itself. You might find yourself falling asleep more easily at night and waking up feeling more rested. 
the quality of your sleep improves, leading to increased energy and vitality throughout the day. This energy isn't the short-lived burst that caffeine provides, but a steady, sustainable energy that carries you through the day. You're less likely to experience the afternoon slump that often follows a morning coffee, and you may find your productivity levels actually increase. Furthermore, without the diuretic effects of caffeine, you're likely staying better hydrated, which can improve your overall health. Your skin might look clearer, and you may notice a decrease in headaches, both of which can be linked to improved hydration. As the week progresses, you'll also see a reduction in your dependency on caffeine. The nagging cravings start to fade, replaced by a sense of accomplishment for resisting the urge. You might even find yourself exploring healthier alternatives to your morning coffee, like herbal tea or a refreshing glass of water with lemon. By the seventh day, you'll have successfully navigated the caffeine-free week, and your body will thank you for it. So there you have it, a journey through a week without caffeine. We've traversed the highs and lows, the jitters and the calm, the headaches and the clarity. By now, you should have a clear picture of what your body goes through when you decide to give up caffeine. First, the withdrawal symptoms kick in, as your body adjusts to the sudden absence of its usual caffeine fix. You may feel sluggish, lack focus, and experience headaches. A lot of this has to do with the way caffeine messes with your brain. It mimics adenosine, a brain chemical that makes you feel tired. When you stop drinking coffee, your brain gets flooded with adenosine, leading to withdrawal symptoms. Then comes the peak of withdrawal, around the third and fourth day. The symptoms might intensify, and you might feel like giving in to the cravings. But remember, it's all part of the process. Your body is simply adjusting to a new normal. By the fifth to seventh day, you start reaping the benefits of a caffeine-free lifestyle. You might notice an increase in your energy levels, better sleep quality, and an overall sense of well-being. It's a testament to your body's resilience and ability to adapt. Quitting caffeine may be a challenge, but it's a challenge worth taking. The rewards are plentiful. A healthier body, a clearer mind, and a lifestyle that doesn't hinge on that next cup of joe. It's all about finding balance and making choices that serve your body well. And remember, you're not alone in this journey. There are countless others who've walked this path, and they're proof that it's possible. So if you're contemplating giving up caffeine, take heart. You've got what it takes. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video, and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to give up alcohol, watch the video on your screen next. If you found this video useful, leave a comment below, and don't forget to check out our calorie and protein calculator in the description to kickstart and track your fitness journey. Until next time, stay healthy and stay caffeine free.